Hey GTA fans, welcome back to another exciting episode of GTA 6 News. Today we've got some awesome updates and leaks to share with you. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of Grand Theft Auto 6. But before we get into it, I'm on a mission to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Character swapping and police chases first up. Let's talk about character swapping. Imagine being in a high-speed police chase with Jason. Driving while Lucia handles the heavy artillery. This new dynamic could completely change how we handle intense situations in the game. Picture this. Jason is behind the wheel, weaving through traffic while Lucia takes out pursuing cops with a high-caliber weapon. And the best part, you can use the in-game internet while your partner drives. Sounds pretty cool, right? The crime system in GTA 6 is getting a major overhaul. We're talking about six escalating star levels and the addition of skull ratings for the most wanted criminals. Get ready for intense police chases, tactical escapes, and secret locations like underground bunkers. The new system ramps up the tension, making every criminal act feel more thrilling and dangerous. Realistic health, System Rockstar is stepping up their game with a more realistic health system. You'll have more health points overall, but the damage you take depends on where you're hit. A headshot, instant death, a shot to the shoulder or knee. It'll hurt your character and their aim and driving will suffer. There's even a bleed out timer giving you a short window to survive if you're critically wounded. Not a perfect system yet, but with Rockstar's expertise, we can expect it to be finely tuned. Map expansion and speculation now. Let's talk about the map. There's a lot of speculation about what lies north of Leonida. We know Vice City is to the east. The Keys and Grass Rivers are down south. And Foghorn is to the west. But what about the north? Some fans are hoping for more than just forests and mountains. How about a city based on Orlando? What do you guys think? Will we see a bustling urban area up north? Or is it all just speculation? Enhanced character swapping mechanics on of the most anticipated features is the improved character swapping mechanics. Imagine swapping between Jason and Lucia while one is driving and the other is in the passenger seat. You could be in a police chase playing as Jason and suddenly switch to Lucia to use a high caliber weapon. This dynamic interaction would add a whole new layer of strategy to the game. Real estate and property management though about making money with your unused properties Imagine renting out those cheap apartments or the Eclipse Tower to NPCs for passive income. You could also have missions to increase the property's value. It's a great way to utilize every asset you have in the game and keep the cash flow steady. The stock market in GTA 6, remember? The stock market in GTA 5? Well, there's been a lot of discussion about whether it will return in GTA 6. With the theme of money still prevalent, it would make sense to see an expanded stock market or even the introduction of cryptocurrency trading. What do you guys think? Will Rockstar bring back the stock market or will they introduce something new court cases and legal drama if you get caught? You'll face a court case that decides your fate. You can buy lawyers to improve your chances of being found innocent. But if you're guilty, you'll end up in prison. The prison system will have its own set of rules and activities from eating and working out to starting fights and planning escapes. The whole new layer of gameplay that adds to the realism and depth of the game. Enhanced police interaction ever thought about what it would be like to handle a traffic stop in GTA 6? Imagine playing as the passenger during a traffic stop, quickly drawing a sidearm while the driver distracts the cop. Or maybe you want to throw something out the window to get rid of evidence. The possibilities for new interactions and strategies are endless. Dynamic business opportunists let's talk business. What if you could rent out your properties to NPCEs and make passive income? You could have missions to increase the value of your properties, turning every piece of real estate into a potential money maker. It's a great way to keep your cash flow steady and make the most out of every asset you own. More realistic police. Chase Polis chases are getting a major upgrade. From basic patrol cars to SWAT teams and military intervention, each chase will feel unique and challenging. 
you'll need to strategize and use your surroundings to escape, making every pursuit a heart-pounding experience. Advanced character swapping going of the most anticipated features is the improved character swapping mechanic. Imagine swapping between Jason and Lucia while one is driving and the other is in the passenger seat. You could be in a police chase, playing as Jason, and suddenly switch to Lucia to use a high caliber weapon. This dynamic interaction would add a whole new layer of strategy to the game. Enhanced police interaction ever thought about what it would be like to handle a traffic stop in GTA 6? Imagine playing as the passenger during a traffic stop, quickly drawing a sidearm while the driver distracts the cop. Or maybe you want to throw something out the window to get rid of evidence. The possibilities for new interactions and strategies are endless. Prison system if you get caught, you'll face a court case that decides your f You can buy lawyers to improve your chances of being found innocent, but if you're guilty, you'll end up in prison. The prison system will have its own set of rules and activities, from eating and working out, to starting fights and planning escapes. And planning escapes. It's a whole new layer of gameplay that adds to the realism and depth of the game. Police station after being arrested, you'll be taken to a police station, holding cell where you can interact with other detainees. You'll have a timer counting down to your court appearance, giving you time to attempt an escape or start conflicts. If the verdict is guilty, you'll be transferred to a correctional facility with different sections to explore and activities to partake in, from playing basketball to starting prison riots. Escape Heists Escape Heists add a thrilling element to the game. Plan and execute the prison break, bribe the warden, or have your friends bail you out in online mode. It's all about finding creative ways to regain your freedom and continue your criminal career. Prison activist life in prison isn't just about doing time. You'll have yard time to work out, fight, and complete missions for other inmates. Free periods allow you to roam the cell block, interact with others, and even start riots. These activities add depth and realism to the prison experience, making it a significant part of the game. That's all for today's GTA 6 news. If you're as excited as I am for these new features, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and drop a comment below with your thoughts. What are you most excited about? What features do you hope to see? Let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.